Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Fitness Friday. I'm Erica Fernandez, and I'm here today with Casey Stetsman. Casey, thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having me, Erica. So a lot of times people are always looking forward to having stronger legs, bigger base, and uh, with having a better squat. Yes. So what are a couple of tips to help us better our squat um, techniques? That's an awesome question. Squats make their way into almost every exercise routine, as they should, because it's what we call a primal foundational movement. So all human beings should be able to squat very, very well, and if you can, it shows great core stability, great hip mobility, great ankle mobility. There's so many great things that coming from a good squat. So really developing good squatting mechanics mm -hmm. is huge huge okay. for overall fitness, injury prevention, well-being across the board. Um, one of the big, big tips is make sure you can master a body weight squat before you start adding weight to your squat. And okay. what I mean by that is just yourself and gravity, you should own that movement okay. before I ever put weight on my back or in my hands or in front of me or anywhere else. Yeah. So that's what we're going to work on today. Now okay. a lot of people want to improve their squat, but they don't know how. And I feel like the best way to improve your squat is to spend time in it. Okay. So we're going to use a little bit of support here to get started. Okay. So we're going to use these beams, but you can okay. use anything, a okay. uh, corner, a door frame in your house, anything that you can kind of lay back and put your weight on safely and comfortably. Okay. So I'm going to start with my feet shoulder width apart. I want to stand fairly close to this so my arms don't get overextended. Toes forward is huge. A lot of times we turn the toes out and the knees drop inside. Okay. I want my toes forward and my knees are always going to be outside my big toe. Now how far depends on the person and their hip mobility, mm -hmm. but I always want those knees outside the big toes. So I'm going to start very tall, a little bit of tension in my trunk, a little bit of squeeze in the backside, trying to maintain what we call a braced neutral spine. Okay. So spine's neutral with a little bit of tension, in, like I'm about to get tickled. Okay. I'm going to keep that tension as I lower down into that squat and I'm pushing the floor apart. Okay. So I'm spreading the floor with my feet. Now notice here, because I have this, I can stay very neutral, very upright, maintaining good tension in the trunks, so I don't have to worry about balance. Right. Now as I get to here, I'm just going to spend time in this position. My goal is to spend, it's tough, isn't it? Even with that support, I want to get to about two minutes. Okay. Now let's say I start to fatigue. Come on up, rest. Let's say I got 30 seconds in. Okay. I'm going to go work cumulatively till I get to around two minutes. Perfect. My eventual goal is I want to try and find about two minutes time in this unsupported position at the bottom, maintaining tension in the floor, tension in the trunk. Okay. Once I can do that, that really shows that I've started to master that bottom position. Perfect. Now another little tip, trick that we can do when we start to go through reps is we can use our buddy the wall. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to come on over here. All right, so this guy is going to give us some feedback. And what okay. I mean by that is some of the biggest faults we make in squatting is on the way down, I overextend okay. and I lose my brace neutral spine or I round or to counterbalance my weight, I kind of start to hinge forward yeah. instead of pulling down in the hip. So the wall is going to keep us from doing that hinge forward maneuver. Okay because if I go for it, I'm gonna hit my face into it. Right. And that'd be a bad idea. Yeah, we don't want that. So we're gonna stand fairly close to the wall. Okay. We're also taking the arms out so you don't have as much counterbalance. You gotta really own it in the hips and the trunk. Okay. So I'm gonna spread the floor tight across the belly and I'm just gonna pull down to that low position. You look good. Now feel how the toes are starting to turn out just a little bit. Yeah. So you got it there, come on up, move closer. Uh, okay. <laughs> Bring your feet a little bit closer together. Okay. You got it, stand up nice and tall. And when you start, start with those hips all the way under. Okay. You got it, right there. Now keep tight across. There you go. Instantly notice how it's getting you to force back a little yep. bit. There we go. Drive up. Let's get a little bit closer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so as you get more and more proficient, we're getting closer and closer and closer, and it's just going to take away any cheating that you can do. Okay. So it's going to make you really own I that don't position. Cheat on my squats. And really stay <laughs> tight into the floor and tight into the trunk. Okay. Nice job. And come on up. So you feel how those feet are kind of moving yeah, a little bit? Yeah. It's okay, it's all right. So we're just starting to lose a little bit of tension in the hips, but that's what we're gonna to wanna to work on. Okay. And we always know that if I keep my toes forward, I can judge how well I'm doing by that. But okay. then this is good. You notice how putting yourself in front of the wall, you're slowing everything down, you're yeah. thinking about your movement. So you're really, really starting to own that. Once right. you get amazing at these, add weight all you want. Yeah, perfect. And so it really it helps us to slow down, pay attention to our movements and what muscles are actually working. Absolutely. Because I felt it definitely trying to Pay attention to the muscles that we're working. Really, the secret to squats is maintaining tension in the hips okay. by spreading the floor okay. and the trunk by keeping that brace neutral spine. Okay. When we have squatting faults, it's because we lose tension in either of those areas. Okay. This is going to help us do that. All right, so just a recap of what we went over today. So brace neutral spine, first okay. and foremost. Tight, tight, tight. Find that little tickle test like someone's about to tickle you. Okay. Maintain that the whole time. Perfect. Spend time in the bottom of the squat. Try and get to two minutes consistent. 
unsupported. Use the supported position to help get you there, mm -hmm. but after a while, see if we can start to get rid of that support, working as deep as we can, and then make friends with the wall. All right, perfect. So remember to lay off the weights until you're comfortable with just your body weight. Absolutely. I mean, just your body weight alone is a good workout. Huge. All right, thank you so much for being here, Casey. Thank you. Stay tuned because sports is next.